Hi, Carlisle Crutcher here. I'm going to show you how to use EquiHack. What is EquiHack? It's a computer language. You can use it to create your own stock screeners, or you can use it to change existing screeners, trying to get better results in an equities lab. Let's jump in and create a basic screener with two conditions. Find stocks with a PE less than 10 and a market cap greater than $30 billion. This screener will let me show you how to work with three things. Properties, the information and stock records. Operators, commands that tell the system what to do with the properties. And constants, values you enter to limit your test. Let's get started. On the Equities Lab homepage, click Create Stock Screener. You're asked to give this stock screener a name. Enter anything and click Done. Next, you'll see a box with a red question mark in it. Click it. Then you're presented with an empty box. We want to find stocks with PEs under 10. Type in the less than symbol first. Equihack then converts this single box to several boxes, depending on which operator you've selected. When you press return, the program added two boxes, the gold line box to the left and the question mark box to the right, with the less than symbol in the middle. Next, enter PE in the empty gold line box. PE is a property, or value found in all stock records. Property names start with a capital letter. Notice that the fourth prompted value, P slash E, is what we want. Click on it. Then, click on the red question mark box to the right, and enter the number 10, and press Return. To see how many stocks pass this test, next, click the blue Go button on the top bar. This puts the system to work. In a matter of seconds, it scans thousands of records and selects those with a PE less than 10. You see the results on the bottom half of the screen. Each box represents a stock that passed the test. They are grouped by industry. Obviously, this collection of stocks is more than you want. Perhaps adding the market capitalization test should reduce the number selected. To do this, we need to add another line of code in Equihack. Accomplish that by simply clicking the green plus sign by the Stock Screener Heading tab, and a new empty box appears. Again, enter the operator first, in this case a greater than symbol. This expands the line to three boxes. We want to enter the market capitalization property in the empty box to the left, but what is it really called? Let's type in MARK, M-A-R-K, and watch what comes up as suggestions. The second entry is the one we want. Let's click on it. Then enter 30B in the question mark box, short for 30 billion, and press return. See the results of this? Once again, press the Go button. The list is now much shorter, perhaps a dozen stocks when this video was made. When you mouse over a stock, a pop-up box shows you more information. As a part of learning the Equihack language, it's helpful to be comfortable with what all the buttons and tabs on the screen do. Let's start with a quick tour of the tabs along the bottom of the screen. They control what is displayed in the bottom half of the screen. By default, we're looking at the Results tab. To the left is the Tools tab. Let's stay away from it for now. We'll get into it later. To the right, there's a Breakdown tab. Click it. After a small delay, you will see over a half dozen brightly colored pie graphs displaying attributes about the stocks found in the screener. Then click the Table tab. This gives you a spreadsheet with a row of information for each stock. The category 
and the scatter turn no useful information at this time because they report what happens over a lapsed period of time and your screener looks at just one day's result. Enough looking around. Let's stay focused on the grammar and rules of Equihack. We've seen that PE and market cap are called properties. Properties are fields of information that make up each stock's record. They are mostly numeric values. They are the nouns in our screener, the subject of the question. We entered a couple of operators, the less than and the greater than symbols. They are the verbs in our expression. We entered a couple of constants, the 10 and the 30B for 30 billion. They are the objects in the question. If PE is less than 10, and market cap is greater than $30 billion, select this record. Thanks for listening and watching. In the next lesson, we'll dig into several ways to analyze, select, and quickly enter properties into your screeners.